plus horsepower to the road. Car number 11 here is Paul Dumbrell. I spoke to Paul yesterday. He looks pretty lean and mean at the moment. He's been training. He's uh, continuing to get more and more comfortable in this category. And I reckon he's slowly emerging into a front runner, Greg. Rob Starr, who you were mentioning before, and Richard Holway as well. We've got some dramas there for Paul Dumbrell by the looks of it. But they spent some time on the Mark Scaife car. Now, there's some tyre management creeping in with his top 50 here, Neil. Obviously, those that are in it are uh, pretty keen to get in the top 10 shootout and ensure that they've got some good rubber for that. So, Mark, instead of putting a fresh set of tyres on car two, crisscrossed them. And the tyre that came off the, the left front of the car, which ended up on the right rear, and of course, on the left front, it would have been doing a fair amount of work. They have Coming keep pressure or dropped the pressure in that tyre. Greg Lowndes has gone fastest. The 888 Ford has gone quickest. And we've got a red flag situation on track. That was uh, fortuitous for Craig. He snuck that lap in just as Paul Dumbrell spun at two and three. Now the red flag, so there'll be at least half a dozen or more drivers that when we see them after this session, Lee will say, ah, oh, I was on a lap and then this happened. Uh, so here it is again in replay. Paul Dumbrell, just after we talked up his performances, makes a little mistake, gets wide at one, gets out of shape at two, can't negotiate three, dirt on the road. It's as simple as that, and he is not alone. So many drivers have done it right at that spot this weekend, and we will see it throughout the weekend. Team boss Larry Perkins looks on as his highest placed driver is 14th in the order, not yet in the top 10 shootout.